This is part four of the videos uh, about our most recent formative assessment, which is about solving exponential and logarithmic functions. <clears throat> and uh, in this final part, we're going to look at the last few questions, the last two questions on the back here about logarithms. And um, this problem was actually, I actually modeled off of one of the problems on the introduction to logarithm problem set. Um, we just asked if this statement is true or false and, and how we know. Um, so this is actually meant to be pretty, pretty simple as long as you understand how to evaluate expressions like this. Remember, log base 2 of 8, what does that mean? It means the, 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 the answer to this question is 2 to what power equals 8. So we know that this is equal to 3. And if I go across to the other side of the equation, I see that log base 2 of 32, well, 2 to what power equals 32? It's 5. And then log base 2 of 4, that's 2. So what we're seeing here is 3 equals 5 minus 2, which is true. Okay, and uh, it's true because of the definition of the logarithm, in fact. <clears throat> and another thing that I wanted to, to do with this problem before I move on is just notice that 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. So there's that other relationship that's kind of hidden in here. And if I want to rewrite this relationship in terms of exponents, I can, I can take that idea that 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8, and I can write it in terms of the powers of 2. And I could say, uh, let me just start over here and uh, represent it this way. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. And another way of thinking about that is in terms of the powers of 2. 2 to the fifth power divided by 2 to the second power equals 2 to the third power. So we have the quotient rule here. And remember, the answer to a logarithm is the exponent. And we know from the quotient, quotient rule that I can simplify this quotient over here uh, by just subtracting the 2 from the 5, that is this 2 that's in the exponent from this 5. And I end up with the resulting exponent. And uh, just to kind of drive the point home a little bit more, I can multiply out these 5 2's and divide them by 2 squared. And just notice that 2 divided by 2 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and I'm just left with these three 2's here, which gives me my 2 to the third power. So this is why the quotient rule works. And remember, just the quotient rule being that uh, 5 minus 2 equals 3. Uh, the, the, I can subtract these exponents to get this one. And so... <clears throat> When it says here, suggest a general rule for taking the log base b of this quotient um, that's suggested by this result. Here's, here's what I mean. So first of all, it's important to interpret this information uh, and write that in as, a, as an actual mathematical expression. Log base b of x divided by y, what does that equal? Okay, um, and uh, <clears throat> so I want to write something over on the right-hand side that, that uh, sort of expands this relationship. And what I really was meaning for you to see from this is that 8 is 32 divided by 4. So if, if this were my 8, right, then x would be 32 and y would be 4. So I can construct the right-hand side of, of this general rule based on what I'm seeing here. And I'm just going to write it log base b of x, that's my 32 in this problem, minus 
log base b of y. And what we have here is actually the quotient rule for logarithms. We have a quotient rule for exponents, and now we have this sort of corresponding quotient rule for logarithms right here. And uh, it's just based on the pattern that we see in this problem.